Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here with another kitchen conundrum for you. We've asked the question, what would you like to see? A chocolate souffle or a molten chocolate cake for this Valentine's Day? And the overwhelming responses have been that everybody wants to know the trick and the secrets behind a molten chocolate cake. I think most people are intimidated by a molten chocolate cake because it's something that they get in the restaurants and they think that there's something special about it. There's a trick that goes along with it, but there really isn't. It's pretty simple to make. And I think something else people run into when they do try and make molten chocolate cakes is that the center isn't ooey and gooey like this version here. Today I'm going to show you a simple recipe for molten chocolate cakes and you will be making these for Valentine's Day, I am sure of it. The most important part is of course the chocolate and I'm using a very good quality semi-sweet chocolate. A semi-sweet chocolate is around 54% cocoa. There are other versions of chocolate out there, dark chocolate, uh, bittersweet chocolate that are around 70% cocoa. The higher the ratio of chocolate, the more bitter or less sugar there is in the chocolate itself. For this recipe, use a good quality semi-sweet chocolate. Make sure whenever you're cutting chocolate that you use serrated knives so that it actually chips the chocolate into nice uniform sizes so that it melts evenly. And I'm going to place this into a bowl set over some simmering water. To my four ounces of chocolate, I'm gonna add one stick of unsalted butter that's cut into half inch cubes. And this will get melted together, stir it occasionally until it's nicely blended. You don't want it to be too, too hot, so once it's perfectly melted together, turn off the heat. While this is melting, I'm going to beat together my eggs and my sugar. So for this recipe, I need two egg yolks and two whole eggs. Whenever you're baking, make sure that your ingredients are at room temperature. So into a stand mixer here with a whisk attachment, the two eggs and two yolks. And I'm going to start whipping this up on medium speed with a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar. While the egg yolks are whipping and the chocolate and the butter is melting together, I'm gonna to prepare the ramekins. Now I'm using four ounce ramekins here. It's a nice individual size portion. Generously brush the interior of the ramekin with some softened butter. And once it's brushed a little bit of flour in the bottom, and this is preparing the ramekin for the batter so that when they are baked and finished, they come easily out of the ramekin. Make sure that you discard any extra flour and give the ramekin a good tap upside down to get out any excess flour. Because if there is excess flour, you're gonna end up with a chalky exterior to your molten chocolate cake. The chocolate is nicely melted, so I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna remove this from the heat onto a towel to catch any of that condensation underneath the bowl. Our sugar and egg mixture is nice and light and thick. It has almost tripled in volume. And I'm gonna reduce the speed a little bit. Just wipe the bowl so no moisture gets into the cake. And now slowly pour this into the egg mixture. You don't wanna dump it in all at once because the chocolate is a little warm. If you add it too quickly, it will deflate the egg mixture. So I'm gonna give the side of the bowl a little bit of a scrape so it's nice and evenly incorporated and add two teaspoons of all-purpose flour and just gently stir this together until it's nice and combined. Now the all-purpose flour is what keeps the structure of the cake. Just gonna stir together any of the flour that might be up on the side of the bowl. Just make sure it's nice and evenly incorporated. Give it a good scrape. Now make sure your oven is preheated to 450 degrees. Molten chocolate cakes, they're so small, they bake at a hot, hot temperature for only a short period of time. I like to use an ice cream scoop here, but you could certainly ladle this into the bowls or you could eyeball it. This is about a three ounce scoop. What's really great about this recipe is that you can make this batter in advance of your dinner party and portion out all of the batter into the prepared ramekins refrigerate it until you're ready for your dinner party and bring it up to room temperature so it's not super cold to go into the oven. This goes into a 450 degree oven for about seven to eight minutes. The longer they cook, the less molten they become. So make sure that you take them out around seven to eight minutes for the perfect molten interior. So I'm gonna put these into the oven. Our molten chocolate cakes have been in the oven for eight minutes. 
you can see they souffle up a little bit, not too much, not like a chocolate souffle. Here's a little trick for you. Tongs, wrap a piece of paper towel around each side of the tong and use some rubber bands to secure the paper towels to the tong so that it's easy to flip over the ramekins here. I'm gonna place it on the counter, place the plate on top, give it a good flip, and the paper towel really helps here in gripping the ramekin, and that is perfect. A little bit of whipped cream here, just off to the side. And let's see if we did the job here, if that center is nice and gooey and molten, which it is perfect for Valentine's Day. If you have any kitchen conundrums that you need solved, write in the comments section below or reach out to us using the hashtag kitchen conundrums and we will answer whatever conundrums you throw our way. Enjoy.